All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna attempt, well, I should be able to get it now. We're gonna change the cabin air filter on a 2018 F-150 King Ranch. I've got about 35,000 miles on this thing. It was a previous lease, probably never been done. Uh, during my last service, they wanted to change it for me. I think they charged like a hundred bucks. New filter, <clears throat> cost me 20 bucks. Um, so I do this as a way to save myself a few bucks. Uh, I will tell you, I tried this uh, with putty knives, scraper blades. I couldn't tell you how many things I tried and it will not work without uh, these plastic panel tools. Uh, any of them will work. Honestly, this thicker blue one worked best for me. I've got this partially apart, but so I'm not overly mechanically inclined. This is the absolute hardest cabin air filter I've ever changed out of the 10 vehicles I've ever done to include my wife's 2020 Kia Telluride. Uh, so it is a real challenge. It's a absolutely terrible design how they've done this, um, but it is what it is. So, <clears throat> you know, I popped the little clip here on the side. I don't even know that you have to do that. I know you can drop your glove box. I'm gonna try to do it without doing that. Um, this piece of, excuse me, rubber will sit in just like that. It literally pulls right out. Be very careful. So on your right hand side here, you get these little, gosh, these little tabs there. Be very careful with those because they, they tear pretty easily. I have a slight crack or tear in one of mine. Then I took, and this is going to be really, really tight, <clears throat> and you can see a couple chips in my wood there. That's not from me. Uh, that was like that. The rubber covers it up, so maybe this has been changed before. Uh, prior to me buying it, I bought it in uh, April of, of 2020. Um, so maybe it's been done before, and whoever did it chipped, uh, chipped the wood there a little bit, but it gets covered by that rubber. So it's pretty hard, but you will hear it pop when you're doing this. So don't be afraid to do it, but I just got this under here and you wedge it pretty tight and you'll hear it pop, pop, pop all the way across like three pops and then keep going in a little deeper and you'll hear, I think there's two back here that'll pop. Um, but it's not overly difficult. It is somewhat scary. Um, this is my dream truck. So the last thing I wanted to do is... Uh, you know, break something trying to save myself a hundred bucks and now that I've wedged this piece of wood <clears throat> back in here I'm having trouble getting it but um, after that you'll need you've got two screws in here there's one there's the other actually it might be four it's a seven millimeter Feel free to fast forward through this part, not real exciting. Um, I have never had this dash apart. This is my first try. I actually borrowed panel tools from a neighbor who is a mechanic. Um, because I don't own any. Um, I may after after this. Like I said, this is the most, the single most difficult panel I've ever attempted to replace. It's just a idiotic design, but whatever. All right, you should just be able to pull this out. Seems to be a little easier to Pull it from the bottom there. There is a wire on that side. You can unplug it. I think you can get it out of your way with without unplugging it. And back there is your filter. So I'm gonna do mine without popping this off. Um, looks like there's a tab on each side. Probably not gonna be able to see me get in here, but. There is a just a little sort of wing tab if you pull it out on either side. That drops out. And there is my filter. 
Watch, I'll get this thing out and it'll be brand new looking. <laughs> Wasting my time probably. Now it's pretty dirty. Um, I'm glad I'm doing this. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty black in there. And here is my new filter, nice and white. So we will slide this in. It's not too hard to do. Uh, I'm doing this with one hand. Um, so if you're not filming it, you likely can do it with both. And like I said, I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm not, I mean, I'm certainly not a mechanic. There's your new filter in. We'll pop the cover back on and then you just basically press everything back in place. So uh, what are we, six minutes now, one-handed, so you can probably do it in under five minutes. Do, again, do not try this without a plastic panel tool. I can promise you here, you're either not gonna get in uh, or you're gonna break something. So make sure you've got a panel tool. A thicker one worked for me. I tried the little, where is the little thin one in here? I've got this little thin maroon one. Uh, I couldn't get enough leverage with this one. Um, so the thicker one works for me. Just push, it'll pop. Nothing broke on mine at all. So if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, but again, do not try it without a plastic panel tool. Uh, good luck.